And for the chicken marsala. Video mode! Jordan. Welcome to another episode of Bravo Charlie's. Today we are doing chicken piccata. This is our second video in our cast iron skillet recipe. And did I just say chicken piccata or did I say chicken marsala? This is chicken marsala. We just did chicken piccata. That was the first in our cast iron series. This is chicken marsala in our cast iron series. And for the chicken marsala, we are going to do three chicken breasts that I've already pounded flat. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll put a link right here for the chicken piccata video in which I did go over how to uh, take boneless chicken breast and pound it flat, basically into chicken cutlets, or you could have your butcher do it. But it's simple enough to do at home. And then I have some flour. We're gonna quickly dredge these in flour. There's no milk, there's no egg involved to make it like a, a fried chicken or anything like that. We're just gonna put a thin coating of flour on each before it goes into the fat to fry or to, to cook up. So for chicken marsala, once again, this is very simple, just like the chicken piccata recipe, and you can exchange veal for the chicken if you want veal marsala. Exact same preparation, same cook times, same everything. So for the chicken marsala, we have obviously marsala wine, one cup. We will need cream at the end for the sauce. We're gonna use about a quarter cup of this. In the cast iron skillet, I have two tablespoons of butter. I have one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And if you've seen my other videos, you know I like to use this. It is leftover bacon grease from when you fry up bacon in the morning. I save the grease, I put it in an airtight container, and I keep it in the refrigerator so it stores just like Crisco. And I added one tablespoon of the bacon grease to this fat mixture that will melt down and then that's what we're gonna cook the chicken in. So we have our one cup of marsala, we have our quarter cup of heavy cream, salt and pepper just for the flavor, about three or four sprigs of thyme. You could use as much or as little as you want but this is the spice used in or this is the herb used in chicken marsala whereas the chicken piccata we used rosemary and chicken marsala, we're gonna use thyme. So I have about four or five sprigs of thyme that we'll scrape the leaves off and put in the pan. I have three cloves of garlic that are smashed, so when we add them to the pan, their oils, the oils will release immediately. And I have three types of mushrooms that I'm gonna cut up. I have a portobello mushroom, I have cremini, and I have shiitake mushrooms. Then I have the three chicken breasts and the flour to dredge those in. That being, that, that's all the ingredients. I'll put the list in the description below so you can read that later. And we're gonna get started here. Okay, so we need to cook the mushrooms before we start cooking the chicken cutlets. Remember, these chicken cutlets are gonna cook very quick. So we have to have the mushrooms ready to go. So I have about a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil in this second pan right here. We're gonna add the thyme. Woo. That's gonna pop. It's nice and hot. We're gonna add the thyme and let it heat through. Gonna add the garlic. And this is gonna start flavoring the oil. As soon as this is heated through, we're gonna add the mushrooms to this hot pan and let them get brown and crispy. As soon as they're brown and crispy, we're gonna turn the heat, right now it's, a, it's slightly under medium high, maybe one notch over medium. But we're gonna turn the heat all the way down to low once these are brown and crispy. And you can see I have probably at least two cups of mushrooms back here. Once they're brown and crispy, we're gonna turn this down to low and then we're gonna jump and cook the chicken breast real quick, then adding this mixture into that to finish the dish off. Okay, so these are cooked, this is all heated through. Now we gotta add the 
Mushrooms. This isn't going to take long, just a few minutes. We're going to add some kosher salt, maybe about a teaspoon. So all your flavoring, all your, all your seasoning and herbs are going to come from this. The chicken and the wine is going to be over here. Add a good amount of fresh cracked pepper. And you're just going to keep moving this around in the oil until these get nice and brown. In the meantime, I'm going to start heating up our cast iron skillet. And it is still nice and warm from the chicken piccata that I just filmed prior to this video. So this is still pretty nice and warm. You can see things are kind of melted in there already. But I'm going to get it up to heat and ready to add that as soon as we're done here. Okay, so our mushrooms are ready and the chicken cutlets are ready to go into the hot grease mixture. This is on medium high. And we are going to cook this only for two minutes per side. Okay, we are two minutes in and we are going to flip these. See, they're starting to get nice and brown. We're not worried about cooking them all the way through at this moment because after the two minutes per side is done, then we're going to add the Marsala wine. Let that reduce. Then we're going to add the mushroom mixture. Let that warm up. Then we're going to add the cream. So by the time all that's done, these will cook for another four or five minutes. Okay, two minutes per side, done. Now we're going to add the wine. Now i got to warn you, when you add this wine, you're adding a liquid to grease. It's going to splatter, so be prepared. Just pour it nice and slow to minimize the splattering. So now we're going to let this reduce again for about another two minutes. Wow, smells great. Once that Marcello wine starts cooking with the olive oil and the butter, the, the fragrance is just amazing. Okay, so this is reduced for two minutes and you can see our mushroom mixture. Remember how big of a pile this was before we cooked it down? it has reduced quite a bit. So there's no harm, and if you like mushrooms, there's no harm in going with a lot. So now that this is reduced for another two minutes, and you can see some of the Marsala wine has boiled off, we're going to add this to the mixture as well. I am also going to turn the chicken so each side gets a good coating of the, the wine mixture. This is still on medium high. We're only going to do this for about a minute and then we're going to add the cream to thicken everything up. Okay, we're going to add a quarter cup of cream to this mixture. Turning the chicken again just to get everything coated nicely. And this will thicken up now that we've added the cream. It will thicken up. I'm going to add a little bit more. I didn't add quite a quarter cup to start with. I wanted to see how much would be hit, how much it would need first. You can always add more. You can't take away. So remember that when you're cooking. Be conservative when you're adding ingredients because once you put too much in, it's ruined. Okay, let me get this plated up and we'll finish it off. So, chicken marsala. It's very simple to do, but you do have to pay attention. Just like the chicken piccata, it's fast. So once you get everything in the pan, within 15 minutes your dinner is done. So you have to stick with it, be there to be turning the chicken, add the ingredients step by step, and don't miss. It's a, it's a, 
It's a great dish, you'll enjoy it. So give this a try. If you like this content, please hit the thumbs up button below, hit the subscribe button for future videos. Down in the description section, I will list all the ingredients that I used. I'll also have links to my Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter pages. So thank you for joining us at Bravo Charlie's. Come back next week. I try and release these videos every Sunday. Come back next week and we'll have something new for you. Thank you, see you next time.